Psycho Dar made a lunge at the front of gate four. Racing. Psycho Dar fast into stride. The same could not be said for Hemp Hemp Hooray, who's back at the rear. Psycho Dar just in front of a fleet ascent through the opening strides. Pabilius Cirrus running a third from Colosi Madarnas. And Hemp Hemp Hooray, blinkerless for his seasonal debut, is devoid of early dash. He's back six lengths behind the second last horse. It's Psycho Dar and a fleet ascent flying about six lengths clear of Pabilius Cirrus, a length and a half. Mardanus joined by Colosi and Hemp Hemp Array is four lengths off. Last of all, a fleet ascent and Psycho Dar in a wicked duel in the baffle by three lengths from Pabilius Cirrus, a length and a half to Colosi striding past Mardanus and Hemp Hemp Array at the rear, but closing in within seven lengths of the lead. They approach the dirt crossing Psycho Dar and a fleet ascent just a length and a half from Pabilius Billius Cirrus coming to their outside. Madonna stays nearer the fence than Colosi. And Hemp Hemp Array brought to the extreme outside by Espinosa. Pabilius Cirrus gathers in those early dueling leaders. He's in front with about 150 yards to go. A fleet ascent holding second, battling on gamely in fact. But Pabilius Cirrus had his measure mid-stretch. And the high weight Pabilius Cirrus takes the baffle from a fleet ascent. Colosi and Hemp Hemp Array fourth. The baffle stakes goes to Pabilius Cirrus. He's two for two this meet, having captured the Eddie Logan stakes back on opening week late last year. And is three for three overall on the Santa Anita turf. Pabilius Cirrus, a bay cult by Candy Ride. From the pulpit mare, Rafinia. Bred in Kentucky by Pace and Stud owned by Holly and David Wilson, whose colours appeared in the winner's circle yesterday after the victory by Royal Trump. Vladimir Sorin is the winning trainer, and Kent DeSormo, the victorious jockey. Ladies and gentlemen, Santa Anita is proud to welcome to the winner's circle Mr De Corsi Graham, who, following a Baffles racing career, owned the outstanding multiple stakes winner. Known as the King of the Hill, Baffle, who was trained by the legendary Johnny Longdon, held the six and a half furlong hillside turf course record for many years after setting the record under Wayne Harris. De Corsi Graham presents the Baffle Stakes Trophy. Totally a serious Wednesday baffle stakes for Vladimir Sarin, Holly and David Wilson, and Kent Sormo as well. This is the first time down the hill with this horse. What were the instructions from Vladimir before the race? When? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, baffle. I was baffled. I had a little trouble keeping up with the field on a mile race, in a mile race in his previous start. And what a tutelage job by Mr. Sarin. I, I mean, he was right behind him just cruising. Tons of speed to spare, and um, quite honestly, I think I got there to the lead, I mean, a little too quick. <laughs> Did that surprise you with this type of a horse? I mean, it seems pretty adjustable. Yes, it does. That's what I, that's extreme, that's exactly what I was, um, what I meant, what I previously stated. I, and, and in the end result, though, I was mostly concerned about the last eighth of a mile because he, he definitely was looking around and idled on the lead. Definitely a horse that you get along with so well. Congratulations. He's fun to ride. <laughs> the Baffle Stakes won by Publius Cirrus at Santa Anita Park.